Hi everyone! Today we are going to try and peel some ginger with the Breville Sous Chef 16 Peel and Dice. I have the peeling blade in there. And we'll see. I'm going to try and maybe cut these so that way they are a little bit uh, more round shaped to begin with. So I will be right back. All right, here we are. I have them in slightly smaller pieces and we are gonna go like this. And we are gonna put them in through here. Okay. Videoing one-handed today because my husband is doing a different project in the house, and I still want a video of this, though, to see how this is going to work out. So we will see. Okay, there we go. Well, it looks like it did peel some of it off. That's interesting. Let's get going. starting to get there, if you can kind of see in there. Hmm. Okay. Wow, it's actually doing this better than it was the apples. The apples kind of got a little bit soggy at the end of the... But it didn't really matter that much because we were making applesauce. I guess the timer ran out. Interesting. But that was 20 seconds on peel. We're going to look at this here. 20 seconds on peel. Looks like it did a pretty good job at peeling ginger. I'm surprised. I'm going to peel it a little bit more and see where that gets us. Um, this is going into the uh, applesauce, fruit, leather, whatever it is we end up doing. Um, okay, we are going to set this on another 20 seconds. Push that down and push it back. And it's going and going. It doesn't look like it wastes too much either. I'll have to see. Oh, I'm going to stop it because I think it's over peeling. We'll see here. What's this look like in here? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's about as peeled as I can get it here. Yeah. Because look at that. It's basically a round ginger ball now. How cool. Okay. Let's take a look here. Yeah, there's just a little bit of skin, but if I'm just wanting to get rid of most of the skin. This is perfect. Wow. This actually worked. Huh. wonder if garlic is too soft. Maybe I'll try that next. Wow. Yes, this is awesome. This is awesome. Obviously, it didn't get in between here, but... Even if I was hand peeling, I wouldn't be able to get it in between there either, so can't really blame it for that. All right, so I'm going to take these things out, and then we can see how much is wasted in here. Okay, I think it helped that I cut it in bigger chunks too. Yeah, the only thing with the peeling blade you have to watch out for is that when you lift it up, some of it spills out of the bowl and onto the counter. So whatever it is you're doing gets a little bit out of the bowl. But, all in all, the ginger is peeled. And those are all the peelings. If I wanted to do something with the peelings, I could. 
I might be able to like uh, juice them or something like that. I'm not sure. At any rate, it did peel the ginger. It peeled it. I'm very pleased. Here is the end result. Little ginger balls. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. Next time might be uh, garlic. We'll have to see. All right, bye-bye.